Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good morning, or good afternoon, or whatever time you happen to be accessing RDL Studios. My name is Royal Du Lorenzo, and welcome back for a new edition of Lorenzo News. This is episode six, six, following our our uh, our continuation from last time. I apologize for not putting out a Lorenzo News the past two days. However, there wasn't much really news to talk about. I would probably be sitting here talking about video games, which I mean, uh, I, video games I already own not, and that have you know, that aren't new, so it wouldn't be really much worth your time. Today we actually have some real news, so, you know, today we're going to be talking about the Deadpool movie, uh, um, okay, uh, it's, it's, it's okay, Deadpool, that's fine, uh, we're going to be talking about Windows 10, uh, yeah, so, uh, you, you can stop interrupting me now, because I really don't care, um, cool, cool, that's good for you, that's good for you, just, just, uh, we're going to be talking about, uh, Vega from Street Fighter V, his announcement, um, yeah, it, 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 uh, whatever, you're right, whatever, just, just shut up, <laughs> Um, and finally, we're going to be talking about uh, the release or the announcement of Gears of War 3 Ultimate Edition. Oh my god. L listen, like, y you gotta get away. Like, you gotta walk, like, you gotta stop interrupting me here. I I'm trying, I'm trying to run a show here. Like, oh, I, I understand that. I, I do. I, I, I get it. I know you're I know you are, but I, I can easily just make you the first part of my show and that's it. I can make you the first part of my show and I, I will never have to talk about you ever again. Alrighty, so let's go on with our news. By the way, before we go on, we are uh we are sponsored by Meatloaf Man slash The Fun Channel 123 Productions, as well as Team Triforce, uh, where at The Fun Channel, where the fun is fun, and, t and Team Triforce, where the fun is forced. Ha! <laughs> okay. And I'm privileged to be joined by two guests today. Uh, if you guys saw the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, 4 gameplay, they're still here. So, guests, for those of the people that did not watch the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 gameplay, Introduce yourselves. Hello, everyone. This is Ray, aka Meatloaf Man and Purple Link of Team Triforce, proud sponsor and uh, uh, helper of Lorenzo News. He's my program writer, guys. Yep. Sad face, Caesar. <laughs> oh, I, I I thought you were just gonna. <laughs> hey, this is Nintendo fan. Cool, so. Green Link of Team Triforce. Yep, and so here we are today. We're going to be talking. Rude. Inter entertain the audience. Um, and uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, while Lorenzo talks to the phone guy once again, um, I would like to plug something that uh, he probably won't be talking about. Um, so, um, if you go onto my channel, Meatloaf Man, uh, hopefully this week, you're going to be seeing the fun channel at MintCon 2014 and Ray's 18th birthday, which will come before that. Um, they're finally going to be finished this week. Um, I promise that no matter what, um, whatever day both of them are finished on, they will be going up. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. hope you guys look forward to that. You know, I sure, do, sure, sure as heck do. So, um, yeah. So, hopefully it turns out great. And afterwards, I'm getting straight to MinCon 2015 because I am wasting no time on that. Everybody wants to see that right away. And I'm glad that you updated the, updated them on our plans. Yeah. <laughs> We're going straight to MinCon 2015 right after this. Yep. All right. Um, and then afterwards, the madness starts. But I'll leave you guys to guess what that is until then. Yeah. <clears throat> All righty. So without further ado, do let's get started. So the Deadpool, Deadpool movie trailer, the teaser trailer, came out today, and it's really funny. It's Ryan Reynolds being Deadpool, pretty much, and... Alright, you, you gotta stop interrupting me, you know, like... Uh, anyways, 
The trailer comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow is August 4th, 2015. And so it looks like a great movie. I talked about it a few, uh, few weeks, uh, a few days ago. And it was, I-, I told you guys how much I'm looking forward to it because it looks so, like such a great movie. <sighs> you really irritate me. You, you, re- you really irritate me. You do. And anyways, when the trailer comes out, that'll be so great. Um, and also when the movie comes out, it'll be so great because I get to be over with Deadpool and never have to see his face ever again. Anyways, let us move on. Yeah, I could care less. I I know it hurts, but whatever. Anyways, Windows 10. Windows 10 reaches 14 million users in 24 hours. God, in 24 hours, 14 million people switched to Windows 10. I am not one of those 14 million people. Hey, <laughs> we did not. I did not switch. Ray didn't switch. I don't know about Caesar. Caesar, did you switch to Windows 10? No. Nope. Yep, we are not. <laughs> we are not one of them. But it's okay. We will eventually be one of them. In fact, we'll be part of the 15 million. Users. Even if it's against our own will. <laughs> yeah, we're. Gonna, uh, I mean, I just don't know how to do it. It's just for me. It's just. Uh, a bunch of setup mechanics so that's really cool uh, it's really cool to know that Microsoft is really uh, building up their empire in that way um, you know Bill Gates and all I think something is yeah I'm not gonna go there anyways I think there's something wrong here <laughs> so um, quota filled today there was an announcement that uh, Vega if you guys know who he is pretty much he's a he's a character who has claws and, and he's part of the Street Fighter franchise. He is not a mutant. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's really cool to know that he's coming back. He's making a comeback in the Street Fighter games. I think he's DLC, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and so that will be really cool. I mean, hopefully when I play Street Fighter V, I'll be able to play as him. Uh, that will be in the very far future. However, I do see that in my horizon. So uh, Vega fights really great. There's a trailer of, uh, of his playthrough. And he really fights flawlessly. He's like knocking the crap out of every single other fighter. And it's really cool. Even Ryu. Like Ryu, you know, Ryu's like here. And then like they showed it. Vega's like, see, it's even, it doesn't even show on the screen. So I really, I really hope that, that uh, things go well. Uh, you know, obviously when they release new things, uh, there are obviously bugs. But, you know. Hopefully they patch it up and um, hopefully it comes out well. I can't wait to see more gameplay. That's Vega and Street Fighter V. Check that out. And finally, oh no, we have two pieces of news. Uh, Gears of War Ultimate Edition was also trending today. So pretty much Gears of War Ultimate Edition, it, it, uh, I think it features Gears of War 4, but it also, in addition, includes all three past Gears of War games. Um, or I could be mistaken and it just... It just has the first three games. Um, I'm very, I could be very wrong. However, what I do know is that uh, if you guys check the, um, the Xbox Gold, gold uh, Games of Gold, they were giving away Gears of War 3 for free for gold members. And that is a 7 gigabyte download, but I was just like, I'm totally going to download it. I've never played a single Gears of War game. However, this looks really promising. And so I'm going to be playing that eventually just to get a hang of it. And maybe I'll decide whether or not I want the Gears of War Ultimate Edition. So check that out. That comes to stores very soon. And it will definitely sell out really quickly. There's a lot of cool things. And the Ultimate Edition comes with a lot of cool memorabilia that you might really want. So and that's Gears of War. And finally, there's a Pez movie. Guys. What the heck? There is a Pez movie coming. Of all things. Of all things. (laughs) So they can't make a Smash Brothers movie. They can't make a decent Super Mario Brothers movie. They can't make a freaking... uh, They can't make a Legend of Zelda movie. Not yet. And they're going to make a movie about Pez? I give my blessing to hope that this movie is great. And they even haven't made the Five Nights at Freddy's movie yet. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of a Pez movie is probably like a Lego movie where you have like a Pez dispenser who needs to become unique or something like that. And (laughs) the whole Lego blocks are replaced with Pez. 
Yeah, the Santa Claus Pez, maybe. It'd be <laughs> interesting to see. Yeah. So, and, and by the way, this picture is from my uh, from my trip to the Pez Visitor Center. I decided to use that. Um, this Let's is really cool. Yeah. Go check out that video. Just go to Lorenzo's Adventures. It should be Lorenzo's Adventures Episode 2. Um, besides that, I really don't know what to expect from this movie. It sounds interesting. I don't know what exactly they're... It, it might even just be a documentary because, in fact, there is a documentary that uh, premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival called uh, The Lego Brickumentary, which has to do pretty much as a documentary about Legos. It has nothing to do with, like, characters with, like, having their own lives and everything. It's about two guys that are pretty much exploring lego and all its like horizons and so i i like to think that it's probably around the same thing and so look out for more news coming on about that hopefully in the next few weeks in the next few months about the pez movie and where it stands and now all the news is completely done i sp kind of sped through all the news that we had and thus um if you guys choose not to watch anymore uh, I would be very sad and so I really recommend that you guys really continue watching however if you just wanted to come here for the news uh, the news ends here however our next segment is gamers corner and today I will not be leading gamers corner because unfortunately I have not played the game however I bought the game for Ray's birthday and thus he's going to be telling you guys about how awesome of a game it is Ray take it away Thank you very much, bro. Okay, so, um, before I begin, uh, first off, I want to give a very special uh, thank you to Lorenzo for buying me this game. Really great game. Um, I actually previously owned the game myself, um, fresh out of the box, but unfortunately I lost that copy and everything with it, the game, the instruction book, uh, booklet, the game cover, um, lost that all uh, years ago, unfortunately, so I never even got far in it. But um, now I have it back, and you know, thanks to the magic of game facts, I can now play through it with you know translated missions and such. So, um, jump ultimate stars. Basically, it's exactly what it says on the tin. But if you guys can't read said tin, it's a video game featuring shonen jump characters. Some from Japan only. Some from mangas you might recognize. Uh, it is filled with all kinds of memorable characters, such as, of course, Goku himself. Uh, we have Naruto, we have Luffy from One Piece. We have Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! We have Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. We have uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures in here. We have, you know, Jotaro Joe Star. We have Dio Brando. So for all, you, for all of you guys who want to officially run over Goku or Naruto with a steamroller special, you can officially do that in this game. So, um, oh yeah, and of course we have Bo 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 Bo. Uh, we have Yo from Shaman King and many more. Um, yeah, there's so many characters in this game. I can't. I don't even have the time to list this all. Otherwise, you know, this whole review will be like an hour long. But um, short and to the point, it's kind of like Smash Brothers mixed with uh, Street Fighter slash Mar Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, there's like a low. There's like a uh, a weak punch and a strong punch. There's like a, a special attack button. There's like a power meter that you gotta charge. Um, it's health based. You could destroyed the walls around this, each stage which is actually just like um like panels like you know how you you, you, you go into shonen jump magazine and there's like panels all around and then there's all that blank space outside of the panels those are basically the walls in the game and you can actually break those apart with the character attacks and knock characters out of the ring with that so it's kind of like marvel versus capcom meets smash brothers like you know sort of like a king of the hill style game um, there are modes where, you know, you have to knock everyone out. There are modes where you have to get the most points. And, um, basically how you get all the characters in the game, there's like a lot of characters in here. I can't remember how many, but there's like over 30, I think, from many different franchises. And, um, basically how you unlock like the characters is that you have to go through the story mode, which is actually, uh, kind of like Kingdom Hearts 2's, um, uh, story mode which is basically going to different worlds and then all the planets look like the worlds that they're based on like say for example you're going to the world of one piece uh the planet doesn't actually look like the planet from one piece but it actually looks like in the game itself it looks like the the, the giant merry go uh on top of a, like a giant sea kind of reminds me of sinbad how the world was flat which is kind of funny and um, basically the goal is to complete each and every single mission and all the mission requirements in order to unlock all the different uh, coma panels. Now coma panels are basically these uh, little uh, things that you have at the bottom of the screen. It kind of resembles a manga page in a way. 
where you have the different characters on the panels, like you have Luffy's face, you can have Naruto's face on it. Uh, four star panels represent playable characters. You can have, um, you know, you can have up to two or four or whatever. Um, I haven't gotten that far yet, but um, basically the entire point is to like make sure you make a good coma page. Um, and there, there are also some other ones such as like, uh, like one, uh, like one coma panel things where there's. It's just the character's face, like say for example, only Goku's face is on it, and um, basically they represent items, I believe, like you know they can heal you or do some special effect. I haven't gotten too far into experimenting with all the ones I got so far, but um, those are basically the common ones that you unlock with each mission, and um, there are also ones that are uh like two. There's like two coma panels that are basically kind of like assist trophies in Smash, where Say for example, there's there's this one with Goku and Chi Chi on it. You click on it, and Goku um, comes out and uses the Kamehameha wave, and you know it blows away opponents, and that gives you time to uh, use an attack. So um, you know it's a it's it's a really cool uh, strategic brawler. You know it mixes in a lot of things, and um, you know it's, it's a really good game. And you know it's sad that you know since it's a DS game, it's you can't really play online with it anymore. There used to be online mode where you could just fight other people. You, I think you could still technically play with someone wirelessly, but that's only if you have someone else who owns the game. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, it has to come to that in this day and age. But, hey, I'm still going to try to try my best to go through the entire game. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, this is, ju this is just a first impression review, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully in the future iteration of Lorenzo News and possibly even my channel, um, maybe when I fully complete the game, which I don't know how long that'll take. I'll give you guys like a full review and see what I think because so far this is shaping out to be a really great game and I'm no longer bored when I'm on my way back from college classes. So yeah, um, Jump Ultimate Stars from a first impression, I give it, um, well I don't want to give it, I don't want to do the rating system so I say it, it, it's an excellent game so far. So all those reviews you've been reading online, accurate. So I highly recommend picking it up if you happen to find it. If you see it for a cheap price, like under 20 bucks, um, do yourself a favor and snag it. You can only find this at like a vintage game store or something. Thank so, you, Ray. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much. And so, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I did. In fact, I, we found it for 15 bucks, hidden in, uh, in, at the Game World in, uh, at Fordham Road. Um, and it, <laughs> it was 15 bucks. And I was just like, and, and Ray was, was kind of freaking out. He's like, oh my God, they have it. And I'm like, Oh, I know what uh, I'm getting you for your birthday. Like, of all <laughs> places, like, we find... It's literally, like, hidden amongst the other Nintendo games. Like, all yeah. the Pokemon games and all, like, the other DS games there. And it was $15. And he, it's okay, I'm saying the price because he does know... He, he knew it already. In fact, he we, I stuck it in the elevator to, so he wouldn't get it. But in fact, <laughs> he found, found it on the elevator anyway. That elevator in my apartment building was $15. Yeah, <laughs> it was also called Jump Ultimate Stars. Yep. <laughs> and by the way, the screenshots on the screen right now um, represent the box and the various gameplay modes. In fact, Ray will be doing hopefully a review on my channel eventually in the future for Lorenzo's news, uh, and he will pretty much be taking that over the second half of uh, of the news after the actual news. And so, yeah, uh, thank you so much, bro, for for bringing in your uh, your review. Um, there will be, there will hopefully be more times when you can, you can do that because you are the program writer. <laughs> um, so, alrighty. So I Jump mean, Ultimate Stars. This is a treasure. Yep. Two thumbs up. This, this game gets the two Lorenzo two thumbs up for the, uh, for the episode. Yes. Uh, and now for the YouTube, YouTuber of the day. So this person, um, he he really is an inspiration to me. Uh, in fact, oh wow, it's Markiplier, everybody. <laughs> He's a true YouTube inspiration to me because uh, pretty much every everything that he does in terms of uh, in terms of YouTube literally is like something I love because it's like he plays Five Nights at Freddy's. He was the one that got me into the game. I don't know him personally, but um, it would be cool though. And the way that this my recording setup is right now is based off his because I wanted to mark apply myself many 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 months ago and eventually it came to the point where I did and so. Do you have a pink mustache yet? 
Yes, I, well, I don't have a pink mustache, but I have a pink bag with a mustache on it. <laughs> uh, which I did get at uh, Toys R Us at the arcade the other day. You, you so that is, a, that is, um, that is my kudos homage to Markiplier. Um, and so, I, you know, his, his name is Warstash when he has the pink mustache, by the way. Um, he pretty much, he, what he does, he plays indie horror games and a bunch of indie games. And he pretty much plays, the, plays through them and reviews them and shows his reaction. So pretty much what I'm doing with Lorenzo Plays, he's doing, he does that on a daily basis. And so he also helped me in terms of consistency. Two uploads a day he does. I am somewhat up to that level. I'm not yet doing two uploads every single day because I don't want to kill myself. Um, so that's why I take Sundays off. But usually Monday through Friday, uh, Monday through Saturday, I'm actually always putting out some kind of video, whether that is a Five Nights video or a uh, Lorenzo News or Lorenzo React, even if it's a two-minute v- short video. Um, it's all about consistency, and Markiplier's taught me a lot about that. And so, in fact, he gets the two thumbs up for this episode and the head bow because um, he he really is an inspiration to the YouTube community, and I cannot wait till the day that I finally meet him and tell him how much he means to me. And so yeah, right. he deserves his fans. He does. Uh, so Markiplier, if you're somehow in the world watching this. You are an amazing person, and you really deserve everything that is coming your way. Thank you so much for all that you've done. So, that is the YouTuber of the day. Um, Come back tomorrow, tomorrow Lorenzo's News, to find out who the YouTuber of the day is for tomorrow. Who knows who it is? I don't know. You know, maybe. Who knows? (laughs) And finally, special shout-outs. Yesterday, August 2nd, uh, 2015, actually, yes, was Masahiro Sakurai's birthday. Yay! Woo! Happy birthday, Masahiro Sakurai. Happy birthday, Sakurai. Also Sensei. known as the Happy Super birthday, Super Sakurai. Smash Brothers uh, creator and pretty much our father. <laughs> and Sakurai. finally, the the most important of all... It was Ray's birthday last Saturday, August first, twenty fifteen, and it. Me and Ray have been have been friends for almost six years now, um, and this is it. It's a really it's really special to know that he's brought me this far in, in everything, and so um, this is his, his special. He gets the second two thumbs up and the head bow for this episode. Hey, um, thank you. He, uh, he really does a lot. He does help me. He inspires me to do a lot more with what I'm doing. And so I really thank you so much, bro. And I hope you enjoyed your birthday, which we spent with you. Um, of course. And, you know, a lot of things are coming your way and just don't give up. <laughs> and so uh, these are some borrowed pictures that I borrowed on the Internet for him. <laughs> from his deviant art. Anytime, bro. Thank you. I did. I, I wasn't gonna ask for permission, anyways. <laughs> 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 All right, and that is a wrap, everybody. My um, check back tomorrow for Lorenzo news and a new Five Nights playthrough. Hopefully, we actually beat that freaking night, uh, night two. Um, and so look out for more news and more gaming and more reactions coming from Lorenzo's way and coming from the Fun Channel and Team Triforce. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Links in the description so you guys can subscribe and watch some videos. Um, e- these guys' links will also be in the description as well as the links for Markiplier so you guys can, sub- can subscribe to him, but you guys have to subscribe to us first. Just saying. Um, <laughs> and thus, my name is Royal Du Lorenzo. I'm Meatloaf Man. I'm Nintendo Fan Corso. And I am signing off on another episode of Lorenzo News. Catch you guys next time. Not everyone.